Houston families. Summer is coming up fast. Well, guess what? The library is open and ready to invite you back in. So if you haven't been to the library lately, or even if you have, come on in, find some good books, and coming soon, you can join our summer reading program. I'm Ms. Jess, Youth Services Librarian at the Ames Free Library. And I'm here to tell you that the library's summer reading program will be in full swing this summer. There's a lot of fun stuff going on in youth services. We'll have programs to keep you and your kids engaged and learning all summer long. This year's summer reading program is called Tales and Tales. You can participate in the summer reading program starting on Saturday, June 19th, and you can participate all summer long. We're gonna run programs and you can read and earn beads all the way through Saturday, August 28th. The most important thing we're going to have is our read and bead program. This is a great self-paced, non-competitive program. Read and Bead is for children of all ages and all abilities, and we also have a Tales and Tales summer reading program for teens and for adults. So grown-ups sign up the whole family all at once using our Read Squared platform. You can find more information on our website, and you can um, log everyone's minutes on the website or using the app. After you register, come on into the Youth Services Department and you can pick up your necklace and your brag tag. And you'll get a free book to get summer reading started. As you go along and log your minutes, you also get to earn a bead for every 15 minutes that you read. These necklaces are a lot of fun because as you read, you can decide which bead you are going to go for next. So if you read for 15 minutes, you get to earn a colorful bead. But if you read for 15 minutes two times, you could pick two beads, or you could pick one of the special glittery beads. And the more time you save up and add up to count for reading, the cooler beads you can choose. You could earn all sorts of different beads for one hour, two hours, or even up to four hours of reading. Don't worry, you don't have to read one hour, two hours, or four hours all at one time. That would be way too much. So we recommend that you read 20 minutes a day. 20 minutes a day, and you add it up every day, well, that's going to earn you some very cool beads. Maybe you'll get one of the sports, or maybe you'll get one of the animal-shaped beads. So hopefully you'll come into the library to check out some books and collect beads, but we also offer fun, free, family activities all summer long. We are going to have some activities live in the garden, and there will be some still held on Zoom. You might be familiar with our Take and Make kits. We'll continue to have those once a month throughout the summer. And we're going to have some bonus Take and Make kits to go along with our Zoom STEM programming. So you'll come in, grab a kit, and then join us on Zoom to complete the activity. There will also be Zoom programs, like there's one about drawing cartoons, or maybe you'll join me for the one where we're going to make some homemade ice cream. So we have a lot of fun stuff lined up for this summer. There's going to be a new book club this summer too. This one is called the You Choose Book Club and there are different groups for different ages. So you'll meet on Zoom to read a choose your own adventure style book all together and then you will decide together where you want to go. So do you explore the deep dark dungeon or do you turn around and run for your life? I don't know. You're going to have to join the Zoom book club to find out. Also, some of you might remember our Monday Night Garden Entertainment program. This year we have five performances kicking off as we like to do with our Easton local favorite, Mr. Wayne Potash. And we will wrap up the summer with our annual Closers Toe Jam Puppet Band. In between, we will have a few other programs, as you can see listed here. These activities are all free. Some do require registration, so check our website for more information or give the library a call at any time. I hope I will see all of you very, very soon at the Amesbury Library.